Gardner for the shooting death of a seven-year-old girl that made international headlines is back in the spotlight today. The second person charged in the death of Jasmine Barnes is expected to go before a judge. Charges were filed against Larry Woodruff the same day as Jasmine's funeral. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez is covering these developments live from downtown Houston this morning. Kathy? Good morning. This morning, Larry Woodruff is behind bars now charged with capital murder and the death of sweet Jasmine Barnes. This morning, he'll stand in front of a judge on an unrelated charge in this case. A somber day full of song and prayer. Mourners packed the community of Faith Church to memorialize sweet Jasmine, a seven-year-old taken too soon. She wanted to be a teacher. And uh, I'm going to say to you that, uh, that she's still teaching us. At the same time, the Harris County Sheriff's Office announced new charges in a murder case. 24-year-old Larry Woodruff, the alleged shooter, now charged with capital murder. He joins 20-year-old Eric Black, the alleged getaway driver. Woodruff has a long criminal history. Most recently, in 2017, he was convicted of assaulting a family member and sentenced to two years in prison. Less than a year later, he was out on parole and charged with being a felon in possession of a gun. Court records show Woodruff pleaded guilty to a lesser charge and sentenced to nine months in jail. The Houston Police Officers Union tweeted out this picture questioning that plea deal. So when you see someone who's a documented gang member, who's a repeat offender, who's shown to have violent tendencies, throw the book at them. That's not the type of person you give a break to. Governor Greg Abbott agreed in a tweet saying, quote, we must expand the Texas Anti-Gang Task Force in Houston to clean our streets of this trash and restore safety. There is no reason that Larry Woodruff should have been free. He's a complete dirtbag. And now as a result, this family has to suffer because he shot a seven-year-old girl in cold blood. Again, Woodruff will be in court today on an unrelated drug charge. He'll be back in court tomorrow to face that capital murder charge. Reporting live in downtown Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.